Children as young as five years old may soon get the COVID-19 vaccine as well. This after Pfizer announced that it will submit its clinical trials to the FDA here in the coming weeks. Our ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano explains the vaccine trial and the new FDA regulations manufacturers must follow to get authorized. This March, Pfizer began testing 4,500 children in a three age group trial for their COVID-19 vaccine, ages 5 to 11, 2 to 5, and 6 months to 2 years. Pfizer says the vaccine for school age kids is the same formula as the one approved for adults, but with a smaller dose. The company says it plans to submit their trials for emergency use authorization to the FDA for the 5 to 11 year old age group first in the coming weeks. The FDA wants to see data on, on the safety and side effects and immunogenicity. How strong is the vaccine? in the older age group generally first before they'll take it down. Friday, the FDA also announced a new standard for pediatric COVID-19 vaccine trials. Clinical trials must include a two-month follow-up period after giving the final dose, where manufacturers monitor the effects of the vaccine. Dr. John Bradley with Rady Children's Hospital says that's the time frame for side effects to show up. If there's fevers, if there's arthritis, if there's myocarditis, any of those, generally within the first two months. Some parents question if vaccines are even necessary for children if the COVID death rate for kids is less than a tenth of a percent. But Bradley says infected children can still spread the virus to higher risk people like grandparents. He believes vaccinating the youth will get the community back to normalcy. I want kids to get back to just being kids and playing with each other. And I think the key to that is immunization of all children. Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. And Bradley does believe by next month, the FDA will grant Pfizer the EUA for 5 to 11 year olds. And within a few years, he believes the COVID-19 vaccine will become a required shot for all children, such as the hepatitis or tetanus.